Hello, how are you guys today? I'm going to show you what I've been having down at work when you know, I don't have enough time to cook breakfast or maybe you know, I did a lot of physical work and I'm hungry. So starting with the protein source, we have the biltong on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Uh, this is the plain one, which I like. We have a bunch of different flavors and some like beef sticks as well. So really, really convenient, super delicious source of protein. And for the carbohydrates, I've been having the organic tortilla chips, uh, Mi Nina, Mi Nina, brand I found at Whole Foods. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find someone to make the coconut oil potato chips for us. I'm still looking, but to me, these are okay because they're the lowest in fat and they're organic despite still using sunflower oil. So again, not something you wanna have like more than once a week and you're probably gonna feel a little crappy after you eat them, especially if you don't normally have seed oils, but you know, it's kind of the only option that I've had right now. And then after that, we're gonna have some of the white chocolate chip cookie bars. So normally I'll have a banana rice crisp bar and a cookie bar just to kind of like go from, you know, moderately palatable to like super sweet and delicious or not that sweet, but you know, different levels of palatability, but we ran out of the banana rice crisp bar. So we just have two of the white chocolate chip cookies. Of course I have my masticum. I was actually excited to show you guys we were gonna do the mastic as powder in these little jars, but uh, apparently above like a certain temperature, it just completely solidifies. So you basically have like a rock of mastic in the jar that doesn't come out. So about a thousand dollar mistake. I spent like all day grinding up this very expensive mastic powder only to find that, you know, it's just, it's just chunked up and rocks and it's just not practical. So uh, unfortunately you kind of have to either grind it up yourself within a few days or keep it below a certain temperature. So who is it? Yeah, just tell him to come back and uh, you guys aren't done, right? Just tell him to come back in an hour. He'll come back. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to show on a little bit of masticum after the meal to ensure optimal digestion. Now with this meal, I'm going to take the vitamin B complex because, you know, the vegetable seed oils, the carbohydrates, the histamines and the meat, the sugar can kind of deplete B vitamins. So you'll feel, what's up? How you doing, man? Oh, what's up, man? They're not letting no bite through until three. You guys are close at three. That's what I'm saying. It has to be tomorrow because they're doing the fall. Uh, they could, the they, we, we, we can load on the other street. Then. Just Leo, just tell Vladimir to to do the other street. On so, commerce, yeah, on the other side. You have an entrance over there, son? Yeah, there's a door. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so just drive around. Uh, yeah, yeah. Getting interrupted with more nonsense. The uh, the streets closed for construction, so we're trying to figure out how to load and unload everything. It's just a lot of labor now. Uh, anyway, I have the B complex with the meal because you know the seed oils and the chips and the carbs and the histamine and the meat and the sugar and the cookies can kind of deplete your B vitamin store. So the natural B complex on organ supplements kind of keeps my energy levels high. Usually I'll take the macronutrient enzymes with this as well, but um, I've been having this every day for like a month now. So I'm just taking like a day or two break uh, just to see how my digestion is without the enzymes. But normally I would have that. So here's the beef. And normally I'll just juice up on my computer while I'm eating. Usually I have like orders to print out, which takes sometimes like half an hour, 45 minutes every day. So I'll usually switch between like having a few bites of beef and then having a few chips. So I usually have the beef complex towards the beginning of the meal with some of the Fuji water. Sometimes I have water kefir, sometimes I don't, depends on how I feel. All these foods are really dry and the water kefir isn't that hydrating. You know, it has some alcohol in it. It's kind of really strong and potent from a probiotic perspective. So I like to hydrate with these, uh, these dried out foods, usually instead of having the water kefir. And I just go by my appetite, you know. I don't measure stuff. I basically just eat as much as I want till I'm full. And I really do like this Biltong, guys. Someone left a review saying like it was their favorite and they would eat it every meal if they could. Uh, if they could. Yeah, this is an eight ounce bag and I usually eat like half of it. 
whenever I want to have lunch. But uh, we do have two ounce portions available too. I could have got some of the organic hummus from Whole Foods, which isn't that bad from an ingredient perspective, but um, you know, it's, it's perishable, so I'm not gonna like let it sit down here. Obviously it'd be ideal if I you know, brought down my homemade white bean puree, but this is more of a convenience thing. Yeah, I think I'll get some hummus next time just to add some extra like minerals and some carbohydrate calories because I try not to eat like a crazy, crazy amount of protein and fat anymore with the liver damage. And before I have like the dessert, I'll do the mastic gum. So this is how it comes in the 50 gram box. It's just a bag, I just tear it open and then I'm gonna pour about a teaspoon of it into my mouth and then kind of chew it and swallow it with some water. So I'm basically trying to like grind it up with my teeth and then swallow it down to disperse it a little better. Uh, what you could also do is like let it sit in your mouth and then chew it like gum. And that's good for just freshening up your breath and also like the liquid goes down. So and there's a bunch of different ways you could have the master gum. So I could just fold the bag up, put it back in the box. And uh, next time I have lunch, I'll have the master gum. So here we have the white chocolate chip cookie bar. Uh, these are a little less inflammatory than the other ones, but I do like the flavor of the regular ones better with the walnut and the hazelnut. These are just white chocolate chips, macadamia nuts, flour, sugar, coconut milk, all organic ingredients. Very calorically dense, very minimally inflammatory. Nice, soft, very tasty. Basically like hypoallergenic liver detox cookies that are also good for gaining weight. Now those are really tasty, so even like after I think I'm full and I'm only gonna have one cookie, I can still eat like three or four of them, so. Usually try to restrain myself, but they are very, very delicious. So, uh, you guys can go to frankiestrangefoods.com uh, where you can get most of the stuff. Maybe we'll do like a Whole Foods groceries tour next week uh, just for some other stuff that you guys you know, can kind of have in a pinch. And you know, this is by no means something um, that I would do more than once a week. You know, if that was the case where I did have to have lunch like every single day, I would definitely be cooking some stuff from home and bringing some stuff in that's you know, a little less inflammatory. But as always, thank you guys for joining me. You can go to frank com to see both Frankie's Range Meat, Frankie's Range Foods, organ supplements, all these interesting and creative health products. If you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. See you guys soon.